Now's the time of year for ticks. Now these bugs can be more than just gross. They can actually give you a debil debilitating disease if you're not careful. Yeah, the number of people being diagnosed with Lyme disease in Michigan is on the rise. And according to the latest numbers from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, in 2015, 152 people were diagnosed with Lyme disease. In 2016, 228 people were diagnosed. And in 2017, 291. Now, 7 Action News reporter Allie Hoxie is live in Southfield, and she spoke with a woman who contracted Lyme disease through a tick bite. And, you know, what is life like for her, Allie? Well, Sarah Rose Barron has had to give up everything, including her career as a teacher, because Lyme disease has made her condition so debilitating she can't even function. And it's all because of a tick bite she got when she was six years old. I was terrified. I was desperate. After years of being treated for a myriad of medical issues and multiple misdiagnoses, in 2014, Sarah Rose Barron came to her breaking point. There was an entire weekend that I'd spent with my brand new niece watching her, and at the end of the weekend, I couldn't remember what I had done all weekend. It was back in college when her symptoms started really kicking in. I started having problems of memory, depression, anxiety, and I just really began to struggle. Not to mention, she was constantly exhausted. But it wasn't until 2015 that she was diagnosed with Lyme disease. After talking to her doctor and telling him she had a bullseye rash when she was just six years old. Now that she's diagnosed, her days consist of taking medication around the clock. I have alarm set throughout the day, like six o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock. So my alarms are going off consistently through the day. She also needs anywhere from 10 to 12 hours of sleep per night. And if I don't get that, I feel it and I'm exhausted. Now she wants to warn other people about the danger of ticks, especially deer ticks that can carry Lyme disease. She hopes to eventually get back to her career in the classroom and teach again one day. The truth is we don't know how long it's going to take for me to recover feel for her. You really do. And with people being outside more in the summertime, what can we do to protect ourselves from Lyme disease and ticks, Allie? Well, Alicia, wearing long sleeves like this one is going to help protect your skin. Also, make sure to have some bug spray handy. This bug spray has DEET in it. That's what the Michigan Department of Health and Services recommends, DEET in bug spray. And take a look behind me. This wooded area right here, areas like this one are what you're going to want to avoid. If you do take a walk, make sure you stay in the middle of the trail. That way you're less likely to have a tick jump onto you. We're going to put all these tips on our website at WXYZ.com and more tips to help you prevent a tick bite and Lyme disease. Reporting live in Southfield, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News.